second board here. Hello, people. So, okay, well, yeah, if you see the brooders coming, which is a you know, typical problem in uh, PvC, you, you're gonna understand that what can brooders do against this army? It's gonna be really bad. What can they kill? Sentries, uh, Glossus, or can kite like, them? Yeah, three stalkers. Yeah, not run really much. So, you see my max food, I'm still gonna be there. And there's gonna be more void race in, in Glossus for max food. So, broodlords are never gonna work against army. If you have Brutus with a lot of Festus and you do the perfect fungals, you're gonna win, but as soon as you see Festus, you have split up the army. That should work. And but anyway, drop a fleet pick on you have Stargates. So drop a fleet pick and get the mothership out anyway if you see Brutus. Because you know it's good against Brutus. Uh, and I used to go to DPs because it's later in this game. And you can see now it's gonna expand a lot and the real problem with for the Zerg in this matchup is that he can't really handle this army of Colossus Void Race after he's got Hydras. This is a typical bad problem, a bad mistake, I would say, for Zerg that I have to get rid of Hydras to defend against a mass Void Ray and he's gonna lose a lot of that because this army is completely worthless when he gets enough Colossus. And Mew doesn't work at all. Mew is a really bad counter against uh, double Stargate, so. The Infestor is the best counter or like all in attacks before that, that's the absolute best call, like painting must, stuff like that. Uh, but I always build a lot of stuff, like gates, in my front and cannons, so I don't really get banned, but, but that, that can be the typical problem. The best build against this, I said right away, I feel is uh, actually, actually is Hydras, Hydras plus Nidus Swarm. You get this, you know, 20 Hydras up really fast, do a Nidus Swarm, uh, like here, and attack my front before the calls are out, before I have enough sentries. Even with cannons, Th them, that's uh, the hardest uh, thing to, to, to defend against. But I see that like each every 50 game or something, so uh, that, that's, that's a good thing to do actually. Well, you can see now that this army is gonna you know, go out and be really, really problematic. And I'm just gonna keep building this kind of army uh, because I know that this army can't lose the Brutalot really. And that's you know what the cross wants. Yeah. So you can see now here that. Yeah, force fields are very, very important because or else the calls will die right away because of Borough of Norsus. Grapplers are not worthless, but they're really bad against Void Race, so they're kind of you know, not doing the job really. Because they're gonna survive, and actually, I have too few crosses here, so he's gonna, you know, work this through, but enough. I have, yeah, I had nine warriors, I have seven warriors now, they're gonna kill the Hydras. And actually, people think about this, but Sentry plus Void Race are really good against Hydras too. Because why Hydras are good against Void Race, a lot of Void Race against a few Hydras are, you know, are winning anyway. So, force field off the Hydras and you can win. So, and of course, Void Race plus one kills bases so fast. So, I'm gonna keep denying his expansions. And you can see my work count is much better than his. And I get my fort with cannons, both forces. And now you can see that my production is really good here. Uh, double Colo, double Void Ray build. It's gonna make my money go down really fast, so no problem. And I'm gonna go DT soon. And drop here, I think, sooner. And DTs are really good in, in PvC, used to the live bases. And this is kind of old class build called Side Build in uh, Circle 1. Where you go uh, Cors Corsair, or Corsair, or so that it's pronounced, uh, plus uh, DTs to kill uh, Overlords. Um, we have Destiny in Circle 1. And you can do a Phoenix, Max Phoenix DT. I used to do it a lot actually in uh, the first season of Striker 2. It was very good actually. Uh, it was like really high ranked in Europe back then. And that was a really good build. You had like Max Phoenix, like 20 Phoenixes and like 20 DTs only. And you could just kill all overseas in like seconds. It was a very effective build actually. And uh, this build can evolve into that easily, double target. But usually, like these 10 void rates are enough to kill all the. Uh, Overseas anyway, so so like this with mothership and DTs are really good actually. So I'm gonna get the dark shrine because I know that defending with DTs are gonna be really good and so on. And so I'm gonna go out here and you can see that this Sergei is a really good player. So you know, um, this is a, I think he's like a, I believe he's, he's a master at least, but I think he's a high master actually. He's playing really good and um, you're gonna see here that he's actually gonna really really outplay me here. But this build is gonna work really well anyway. It's so effective this build is. Because this uh, surrounding does is really good. Uh, and I have I can't void it, I can't uh, sentry force it enough. So I'm gonna lose all the colors again, but 
as the last time I'm gonna have two man void rays against two few hydras. And but probably it's because he has two man hydras, the colors wheels. It's a really good build. It's probably this. yeah, and I'm gonna kill again, kill this one. And I'm gonna you know start taking this is speed fort. And uh, yeah, and now you can see two things here. First, this thing here obviously I can really really easily go in here and use kill this board, kill the hatch, so we can use notes as to happen. And here I'm talking about. I'm gonna go to DTs now here, you can see here. Yeah, mass DT warp in North Gates. I'm gonna defend this very easily. And if an overseer would fly over here, yeah, yeah I probably have void ways to kill it off. So he has really problem with the DTs. It is gonna be very very effective against him. And of course, yeah, I'm gonna kill it off here. You can do nothing about that. This uh, few hydras. And the DTs are of course extremely good to snipe off buildings. I'm gonna actually uh, fail this thing. I could probably get it. Um, yeah, but almost there. Yeah. Typical. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting here actually to fly in here and. Uh, Snipe it off, and we're gonna see here now that I'm gonna go for this massive archons in the end game. I'm gonna go with mother sheep was the plan. I'm gonna go for the uh, archon Kolo void ray army. It's like the perfect meta game currently. They have a lot of archons and uh, yeah, but he's gonna leave now because he's what my fifth base I think, and he's like, oh, this I can't win this. Yeah, and it's more cannons. You don't need like super much cannons, but like one, two cannons per base. Pretty good. Um, he left here when he saw this. He knew he had lost, I guess. Uh, I, yeah, he had three bases and was out. Yeah, he had one base with him. And then a lot of workers. Uh, yeah, so I had one definitely in the in the end here. But the game uh, had evolved, which is done very rarely. I would go, you know, a mass arc on Colos Void Race and a mother sheep, which would really easily kill. Uh, the Brutal Army, and uh, the Surge has a huge problem with its build because Archons, DTs are pretty good Ultras, and Warriors are pretty good Ultras, so Ultras not that effective. Uh, the biggest problem is like mass Infestor armies, which is kind of hard to do, and you know, Colors are good against Festers, so it's not really much they can do really, and it's a really effective build. I have this, yeah, so I have more than 90% win rate in Master League with this build. So this is amazingly good build, and uh, I have a lot of replays <laughs> for this build, I can let up like four of them. So you look them through, and in one of them I really fame a macro, that I still win, so um, you're gonna check it out. And that's gonna be the last bit. Uh,